Hi students, welcome to today's social science class. I hope all of you are fine and safe. In the previous class, we discussed about Nauru, the country which was once rich because of its phosphate mineral resources, but now has become poor due to the depletion of the sea. Let's continue the chapter. What are resources? Those things useful to man are called resources. The things directly obtained from nature and are useful to man are called natural resources. Resources are called as the gift of nature. Rocks, minerals, soil, rivers, etc. are resources. A river as a gift of nature becomes a resource when it is used for irrigation, transportation, to produce energy, etc. Like this, when a man identifies the use of a natural thing, it becomes resources. Some resources are living things, the rest are non-living things. The living resources are called biotic resources and non-living resources are called abiotic resources. Resources can be classified as renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are those resources which do not exhaust even after repeated use. Wind, water, sunlight, soil, etc. are the examples of renewable resources. Resources get exhausted due to their uncontrolled use by human beings. Such resources are called non-renewable resources. Coal, natural gas, petroleum, iron ore, etc. are examples. What are man-made resources? Resources made by man with the help of suitable tools, equipments and technology are known as man-made resources. Roads, vehicles, building, furniture, etc. are the examples of this. Next, resource depletion. Man makes extensive use of natural resources as if these were meant exclusively for him. The demand for natural resources increased with the increase in population, developments in science and technology, communication facilities, industrialization, etc. This led to the large-scale depletion of resources. Decrease in the availability and decline in the quality of resources due to reckless usage is called resource depletion. This resulted in depletion of resources and changes in the environment. This will adversely affect the creatures including the human beings. So students, today we discussed about resources, natural resources, classification of resources that is renewable resources and non-renewable resources then resource depletion also so i hope all of you understood this much we'll meet you in the next class with the continuation of this chapter thank you